As I showed you my makeup already now, let's get this ready. Yes, well, this is my skincare pouch. I got this one from Spa Salon. First of all, this Nina Skincare Vitamin C Serum. And then vitamin, Nina Skincare's Vitamin C Facial Toner. It's almost done. It's I'm using this Janet Under Eye Almond Serum. The logo is already erased. And next, I'm using Janet's Fair Natural Fan Skin. So basically, my skincare routine is usually I do face scrubs three times a week, which is a form of exfoliation and also i do face shaving once a month which is also a good form of exfoliation which means shaving all your face hairs and it gives you an instant kind of glow and that's what i do apart from doing my regular skincare routine serum usually serums must be used when you are in your mid-20s recently i've been seeing a lot of kids especially on social media have been using lots of serums which means they are having a very sensitive skin if you are a teen if you are a person who is having a teenager in your home please don't let them use it just give them a face wash and a regular sunscreen or a moisturizer that's all because teenager skin is very sensitive isn't that so like if you are a person who is into skincare i really highly i highly encourage you doing this so you have to absorb this my eye serum i used to have a lot of dark circles because i couldn't get proper sleep like three months back because i was suffering from gastritis so i got this one from my workplace so as ever since that i've been using it and it really do wonders so it's almost done from the in your neck area as well gently rub on your skin this is giving a little bit of white cast especially when we are wearing a cream or something and going out in our country it's very sad to say we are getting almost sweat and sweat at when we do skincare there's no point of putting sunscreen in our countries like which is a hot country and i really encourage all skincare brands to do sweat proof sunscreen instead of like make do we having products with a lot of white cast on it but thanks thankfully the one that i use the janet's one have only a little little like little white cast but still it's not appreciated anyways i'm done with my skincare routine very cutesy very demure very mindful let's hop into our <laughs> if I ever really want to go to a makeup and for my foundation, I would use this Janet Colors Liquid Sheer Makeup one. But the fact that I really want to tell you guys is it has only a very little foundation. I mean, the amount is not the is not sufficient. But this, this is a beauty balm. It's Janet's BB Cream. It's under the shadow, sorry, under the shade Sandal Glow and it was around 990 when i was purchasing i think still is the price and it has spf 50. so i'm a person who really doesn't like to use makeup that much so instead i am trying to use this bb cream so i'm going to take the bb cream according to the sunscreen technique just like this only this much and then apply it on my face very cutesy very demure so this is the one that i'm applying usually 
I'm going to dabby dab 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 dab. See how nicely it blends. Make, sorry, you need to wet your makeup blender before applying makeup because then it won't get your makeup cakey. Then everything gets absorbed into your skin. to use this kiss beauty contour stick it has one in lighter shade and darker shade as well since i don't use concealer that much sorry <laughs> not concealer first let's try to okay now i can see it i think i need to buy one with the darker shade i guess And also one thing that I wanted to elaborate is guys that we don't have sweat proof makeup in Sri Lanka. Especially local brands doesn't produce sweat proof makeup. When we put our whole makeup, when we go out, then sweat comes out. And we have, and we always need to like keep, what should I say? Keep swiping. How do I know me? <laughs> keep swiping. Keep wiping every time. Which I really don't like it, to be honest. And we need to keep blending this. I can't believe I started doing makeup. And now I'm doing makeup whenever I go out, whenever I go to a wedding. But still keep learning. The only thing that I can't get get a grip of this like putting kajal or eyeliner i still fucked it up now it is done yeah powder and blush this one is from janet i'm going to take a bit from this and try to mattify my like this Keep dabbing on it. I think I don't know whether you guys are doing this, but I keep doing this one for all of my makeup looks. Whether because there are sometimes in this area where I get sweat sweat often. I usually get sweat under my eyes. So what I do is I usually keep dabbing this cloud and brush to like give it a mattified look. That's how I take that flawless makeup base i keep applying this all over my eye area all over my face and even some here as well why am i so i keep like applying time to time i don't know i want to make it look very perfect <laughs> Let's try to apply to here as well. Yep. We are done with the base for now, guys. This lipstick as a brush, it is Miss Rose lipstick in shade Mimosa 32 number. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to direct apply to it. Instead, I'll be swatching it in my on my palm. Okay and swatching it thoroughly 
then I have enough pigment to put on my makeup. I know it's a lot, but I keep doing this because I don't wear this one on my lipstick. I occasionally do wear them. Yeah, just like that. Keep off just doing like this, taking the maximum to my blender. Sometimes I even drop that. Take the maximum to my blender. Dab it on my face to give that natural look. I will be using it on my cheekbone. I won't be overdoing it as well because I want to achieve that light makeup look. So you need to do the same. I have applied blushers to both of my side. Now let's go on with the highlight. For, my, for all my highlighters and all the eyeshadow kind of things, my highlighter goes as the eyeshadow. And of course on my cheek as well. This is the one I'm using, the top color highlighter. And I will be using this brown shade on my cheeks and this white shade on my eyelids. Okay, let's go. You need to dab a little bit and keep applying just like this. So I'm keeping dabbing on it. I don't want to rub it up. So my cheeks are highlighted. Okay, number one is done. And on this side. I'm going to do on this side as well. Okay. Whoa. The blush is... Sorry, the highlight is highlighting at this point. See that shimmer. See that glow. Very demure. Very cutesy. It's trending right now. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's... Now let's take a little bit from this and keep applying it to here a little bit i'm not going to apply a lot just like that i will keep using on this side as well i'm not going to overdo it and applying a little bit in my outer corners yeah we're done with that now let's apply our mascara the mascara from the miss rose cosmetics by the way miss rose cosmetics is from pakistan so because i don't apply any kajal because i'm not a fan of it and any what do i mean eyeliner i will keep going with this i'll keep applying the best until because i'm glad i'm having very long lashes to be honest because i some people have been suggesting me all across social media to keep like putting fake lashes but my eyelashes are pretty long guys so i don't need to apply those as long as i apply enough mascara to my eyelashes i can say my eyelashes are long there you see the difference there's the difference i haven't applied here but i have applied it here let's go and apply the same way to the other one You have to be very careful once you fucked up your eyeliner, your whole makeup goes on vain. Multiple times has ha has happened that to me. And I was doing my makeup for one month ago for the wedding and the same shit happened to me. I was struggling. There you go. 
Can you see this difference? Shall we keep applying a bit more? But I'm not very confident to apply mascara on my lower lashes because number one, my hands are shaking every time and I can't keep applying to them. Oh, I have light. I bet you have to be saying careful. Oh. Let me wipe my face. I'm going to apply a little bit. And also, I want to make it a little silk glossy. I don't have a visual allergy applying a body scrub from Sparks. I don't have any body butter that I told you guys it is 5,000 sorry 4,500 it can be it can be used for a whole year all I'm gonna do is like grabbing a little bit from here you see We're done with our makeup. This is the makeup look that I have been doing. So what highlights, what makes my makeup set apart from all the regular makeup is that it's very light and it's giving a very glowy look. And I use this eye white eyeshadow to my So this is my final makeup look. Read this makeup look out of 10 in the comments below. I still have a lot to improve, but we are learning and growing together. I'm so obsessed with this look. Well, that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Anyways, I will bring more videos like this. Until then, enjoy the videos and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Bye. Okay guys, I showed you my makeup ready now. Let's get this removed. Hey, oh no, what a fucking what a minute. Woke up. Yeah. Makeup. Hold my